Right, okay guys, welcome to another shoot 'em ups so you need to play. And this week I'm taking a look at Phoenix by Amstar, released in 1980. I used to play this game quite a lot in the rugby club back in the day. Um, that was the only place that actually had arcade games, you know. Unfortunately, living in sort of central Scotland, I wasn't near any arcades. Uh, and so the only games I really got to play were either on service stations, the rugby club, or on occasions, the sports centre. So yeah, this game, it's an absolute stonewall classic and it is damned difficult. This and Mooncrester are just savagely hard. Now, one thing that, um, that makes this game really difficult is the sprite detection is not what it could be. Sometimes you think you're shooting the baddies and you just can't seem to hit them. They just seem to constantly avoid bullets. Hey. When I couldn't play the arcade one, I used to play the really good uh, version of this on the C64, which was Eagle Empire. Think about this game, the wee baddies entice you to move underneath them to kill them and then just as you move underneath they go and bloody drop a big a big bomb in your head and when you see the size of the the enemies in this game it looks like it should be really really easy to play but it's nothing like that it's really difficult <laughs> The problem is, your little uh, radar thing only uh, works for a short period of time and then it's got to recharge. But this is one of the best early games. I always preferred this to like Space Invaders. I just like the, the fact that it had multiple... Uh... Ooh, extra man? What the hell, that was... Now this is always fun. So I'm not talking. <laughs> Try not to die unsuccessfully. Anybody that can master a game like this is hardcore. I might actually have to pick this as a game to play in the main meister high score kerfuffle. Interesting to see what some of the good players can actually get in it. But as far as vertical shooters go, I would say this is way harder than, you know, your 1942s or whatever. The fact that the sprites seem to move completely randomly just makes it tough to kind of predict. <laughs> game over. Yeah, listen, that is Phoenix. Absolutely classic game. Rock hard, but you know what? It's brilliant fun. So anyway, guys, as always, thank you very, very much for watching.